Hello friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Today I want to talk about Music Lab's Real 8 guitar plugin. Um, maybe I shouldn't even call it a guitar plugin. It's a combination of bass and electric guitar. And this thing is pretty cool. Now the thing I like about it, you know, all of Music Lab's plugins for that matter, is the fact that they have a very small footprint. This is only 58 megabytes. But they don't sacrifice in quality, which is what I love because if you're stacking a bunch of high quality plugins, you're gonna run out of RAM and have to start freezing tracks or bouncing or whatever. So I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, I'm not gonna go into great detail because if you've seen my other videos where I, for example, the Real Guitar 4 or the Real Strat 3, um, there are a lot of things, a lot of features that are carried over, so I don't wanna be redundant in that, in that um, sense. So um, I'm gonna go through single mode and double mode. I'm not gonna go to quad or bass um, because I think that just these things in of themselves, they should be enough to convince you whether you wanna buy this plugin or not. A few things right off the bat. Uh, Music Lab shows on their website that the, this plugin has a five octave range. Um, it has a floating cable, just like real guitar. It has its humanized feature, which allows you to change the the sonic characteristics of, of the plugin to um, have certain articulations automatically trigger. So let me show you what it sounds like. This is without any effects. I like that extra bass right there. Now I have to say about the the feel of this, um, because every plugin has a feel. It doesn't matter what type of keyboard you have. Well, it does matter to an extent, but if you have a great keyboard and the plugin that you're using is heavy on CPU or RAM um, or just, it's just not designed quickly. It could feel sluggish, or it could feel like it doesn't have a good response. This plugin right here has a very tight response. You have to try it out, and I think the website allows you to try it um, either for a limited time or they limit the features on it. You have to try this plugin out. Um, it just feels very snapping, and all of theirs do. I think it actually has a really nice sound. The uh, it has a good mid-range bump to it, and the bass is very bassy. <laughs> no, it's not going to be like a actual bass, a really high-quality bass plugin where it has all these bass articulations. So I'm going to go into Logic and open up Amplitude. Now I have here the uh, triple rectifier amp by Mesa and I'm gonna run it through a clean channel first. Sorry, I have my head turned so that's why it sounds like I'm a distance away. I have the overdrive off. Let me see if I have a delay, yep. I'll bypass that. All right, let's hear it. Now, I would have to say that you need to be careful with the legato on here. Um, it could start, it could start sounding or feeling a little keyboardish. Even though the sound is is nice to my ears, um, I don't like a guitar feeling like a keyboard. Um, sometimes, like the way I have it set up right here, is the interval is uh, is two steps. So 
when I play an interval of two steps, it's going to trigger that legato. But when I go beyond that, um, it goes to different strings. Let me increase that. Listen to how it sounds. I think I'll leave it at that. So you have to really be careful on your playing. Make sure that you don't play too many notes at the same time. That's the only thing that sucks about this is that you can't, um, well, maybe you can split it up. Who knows? Let me see. Nope. I was hoping that you could split up the bass and the guitar and have separate controls for the guitar. That way you could have the, oops. That way you could have the guitar on this side. without cutting off the bass. But um, maybe you can just open up two instances of this. It doesn't take that much RAM, so you can do that. Now, um, I wanna hear what it sounds like. This is this looks like, this graphic in the back looks like it's meant to be played for metal. And on the website, I think it's, it's it also says that it's supposed to be played for metal. Although you could get different tones out of this to play uh, soft rock or whatever. So let's go into Amplitude and click on a, a much drivier setting on this. So watch your ears, this might be loud. I warned you, turn your, your headphones down or your speakers down if it hurts your ears. I don't like that distortion too much. I'm gonna see if I could thin it out by adding more distortion. Oops. Let's go over here and add some delay. Now, I always say this, I love Music Lab's vibrato. I don't know, it just it sounds like I want vibrato to sound. It has that quick, very deliberate vibrato. Uh, that sounds like a steamy love scene type of... Guitar. Anyway. So I think that sounds pretty nice. I think it would make a great rhythm guitar. Let's hear the different articulations. Wow, 
Wow, that was dramatic. pretty cool. Now as you can see there are a lot of different articulations that you could mess around with and I, I implore you to go onto the website and just try out the software that way you could see for yourself. Um, I don't know how much of this is actually available in the trial version um, but I guess you can find out. So all right let's hear it with in uh, double tracking mode which is just it's basically doubling the guitar and panning it a little bit. That way you can get you get that wide um, that wide image stereo image. All right, let's go back to our amp and make it clean because I don't want to hear that distortion anymore. It's hurting my ears. Now, what I like about this plugin is that it just sounds full. Uh, other guitar plugins that I that I own, uh, without the amps, they sound very thin. And even with the amps, they ha they kind of have this hollowness that I don't like. This plugin has that full sound that I love, and it really fills fills the tracks up. inspiring all right let's hear how it sounds with other uh, um, other effects Now this kind of stuff right here, this hammer-on type of playing, um, it doesn't really impress me with this plugin. Now it doesn't sound bad, but I've heard other, I have other plugins that they, it has a more connected sound. That seems a little bit heavy to me. Let me see if I could fix that. I guess that was it. It was the third interval, the third interval that I was having trouble with. Let's hear this without distortion. Oops, I'm so used to having the the mute over here that 
when I was playing the bass. All right, so we've heard this sound clean with a little bit of crunch. We've heard it sound very heavy and uh, for metal music. Let's hear if it could sound very clean and sublime, if you will. I'm going to open a Fender amp. Let's see. I don't like that one. sheen it gives it. Now another thing I should mention is the dynamic range that this has. Um, if you if you own different plugins, if you own different guitar plugins, Notice the limited dynamic range that it has, especially in the electric guitars. And this is something I never liked, is that when you get a really hard strum, they, it, never sounds, it never sounds like you're strumming it hard. This one actually has a, little, uh, a pretty wide range. So like I said, you have the you have very similar features as their other plugins like the Human Eyes. Um, now it has quad, which I didn't notice much of a difference. Perhaps that's a that's for a different setting that that it's not available on my computer. And then bass. So the, from the looks of it, the strings change. So I'm I'm guessing it's going to change the sound of the, the timbre of the higher keys, or the higher strings. Pretty cool. Um, although that's not something I think I'd be using. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this short little demo or review of Music Lab's Real 8 guitar. Honestly, I think this is a, a very fun plugin to use, but I think all of Music Lab's plugins are very fun and easy to use. The layout is very logical to me. I don't really have to guess where things are, and it just sounds great. It's surprising because you think that you might think that having a higher sample size, providing more detail would give you a better sounding plugin, but in fact it doesn't. It's the quality of that, of that sample that makes the big difference and it's the usability of, of this instrument um, that makes a huge difference in your experience with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't done so, please like, share and subscribe for more videos. I, I love doing this for all of you. And um, give me ideas of what you want to see. Uh, my time is very limited and I, and I wish I could do this more often, but um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, take care.